Hello everyone. So today I will be explaining an interesting project. So it's beauty rating based on facial proportions. I have taken the data from the Chicago face data set. It has an Excel file which contains the face proportions and an attractive score that is associated with each data point. And I will be using this data set in order to train a model. And I will use this model in order to rate myself. So I'll start off by importing pandas and then I'll import the data set which is pd.read underscore excel because the file is in excel format and the file name and I will instantiate it to df. Now using the dot head function I will show how the data frame looks like. So there are 44 columns and the first five rows have been shown here. So there are four different races in this data set and uh, gender which is female and male and the age in years. So now I will use the dot max function in order to get the maximum rating that's given. So 5.48 is the maximum attractor score which is given to an individual. And I will take this data point which has the maximum attractor score. So this is the data point which contains the maximum attractiveness score. Now I will convert the age column into int data type because as we can see here the age is in float format. By using dot as type I will be type casting the data type from float to int. Now I will visualize the data frame once again using dot head. So the age column has been converted to int data type. Now I will visualize the race using a bar plot with matplotlib. So this is how each of the races are and the number of data points in each of these races. I will do the same thing for gender. So this is the data representation for both female and male. Now using the dot info function, I'll get a concise summary of the data frame. So this enables us to see the columns if there are any null values. So there are 597 data points and there isn't any column with a null point and it also shows the data type. The race, gender and the target are of object data type whereas the rest are of numerical data type. Now I will remove the highly correlated features. Removal of highly correlated features is a very useful practice in machine learning. So I will plot a heat map using Seaborn and I will also show the Pearson's correlation value in order to find the most correlated features and will remove them. I will give the formatting as 0.1f to get the first decimal point and the line width to 0.5, annotation is set to true in order to depict the Pearson's correlation value. So this is how the data looks like in the form of a heat map. So we can see that there are various highly correlated values and I will take a summary of them. So by looking at this heat map, I will find the highly correlated features and I will remove them. I will remove those columns. So I will create a list with all the columns that I wish to remove. So this is the list. Now I will create the data frame with those dropped columns. Axis is equal to 1 represents the columns. Now I will create a heat map once again with the same data frame in order to see if I have missed out any data points which are highly correlated. So we can see that I haven't missed out any highly correlated features. I'll get a concise summary once again using the dot info. So initially there were 44 columns and now it has reduced to 28. Now I will convert the columns which have a data type as object and I will do this by one hot encoding. So dot get underscore dummies is a function that is used to convert categorical variables into numerical data type. It contains two arguments. First one will contain the data frame and the second will contain a list of the columns which we wish to convert. So this is how it looks like. Um, we can see that there are new columns that are created. For race there are four columns and for gender there are two columns. So one indicates so one indicates that the particular column is active and rest of them would be given zero. 
Now I will proceed with splitting the data and training the model. So I'll split the data set with the test size being 20% and I'll create a variable y which is the series containing attractor score and x is the variable containing the data frame with the attractive column being dropped. So the data set has been split for training and testing. I'll use two means in order to do this. One is XGB boost regressor and the other will be linear regression. XG boost regressor is used to create a regression model. So I'll import the module necessary for it. So the N estimators is set to 1000 and we can suggest a learning rate at which the model will learn the data. So I have set it to 0 0.3. So this XGB model will be fit onto the training data set and the target variable of training data set. So early underscore stopping underscore rounds is a parameter that is used in order to prevent overfitting. Overfitting occurs when the model has learned the data and it predicts well with that particular data, but when it is used with a data set that it has never come across, it wouldn't perform well. And I would set the verbosity to false. Now I'll create a variable in order to hold the prediction for the testing data set. Now I'll represent you this using a data frame. So it will contain two columns, which is the actual and the predicted value from the model. And it also contains the absolute difference between the two data points. I'll also mark the maximum and the minimum difference that occurs with XGBoost. So the minimum difference is uh, 0.002 and the maximum difference is 1.8. I'll also find the mean absolute error and the root mean squared error in order to find the accuracy of it. So we can see that uh, it is a small value. So it has been trained well. I'll also use linear regression and this model will be used to predict the testing data set Similar to XGBoost, I will create a data frame with uh, the actual and the predicted columns with also the absolute difference between the predicted and the actual values. I'll also find the maximum and the minimum difference. So the maximum difference has come to 1.52 and the minimum difference to be 0.07. Now I'll also find the mean absolute error and the RMSE score, which is the root mean square error for the linear regressor. So the mean absolute error has come to 0 0.5 and RMSC to 0 0.62. So we can see that XTB regressor is a better predicting value. So I will use this model and I will enter the phase proportions in order to rate myself. So I will create a variable which contains a list of all the columns in the data frame. And now I'll create a dictionary with all the keys being the column names and the values which will be entered by me. So I have entered the values and a dictionary has been created. So this is the dictionary that has been created and I'll create a data frame with this dictionary. So this contains the phase proportions and I'll predict a final score using XTB regressor. So I've got a score of 3.12 and similarly this model can be used to predict the beauty based on a phase proportions.